Hey kids, welcome back to my channel. If you're for some reason on my channel, pardon the rat's nest over there. Uh, what we have here is a Legends flashback. Um, I got this at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond for I don't know, forty bucks, I think. And the only reason I got it, uh, I was looking into getting the Legends Ultimate system, and I had just done my Atari flashback mod if anybody watched that video i don't know why it would um and there's a group well there's a there's a page atariage.com and it's like an old time message board i guess where people discuss projects and whatnot that they're doing and i inadvertently found a mod for the atari flashback x and i loved the mod they did and they they started talking about what they did with this one so i bought one just to get the mod um, I, I, it's not there anymore, so I can't really even tell you how to find it, but I'm going to open this up, show you what's inside, I'm going to hook it up to the TV, and I'm going to show you the great lighting, um, the brilliant programming that they, they put on Atari Age that I added to this. So, like, when you buy it stock, it comes with... I don't know. Like, what does it say? Let's flip it over here. These games. Mm -hmm. Like, 50 games. And they're they're for everything. There's, uh, there's arcade games. There's Coleco. There's Nintendo. There's Atari. Whatever. Um, I think their point... The program that they set up was to make it have almost as many choices as the actual legends ultimate um but we'll look inside i and i'll show you what uh what it does basically all you got you got two controllers and you got that and get to the tv so i'm gonna hook it up to the tv and then i'll turn this back on all right all right so here's what you get you get this little box no frills. You get two of these controllers. You don't get this remote. Um, and I'll just show you when you turn it on. This is what it comes stock with. Alright, so navigate with this thing. Over here. Okay. These are some of the well, it says featured games up in the top there. Um, let's go back to that. All games. So, let's go back this way. Now, it doesn't tell you which they are, unless you, you can go over here and just click on only arcade games, of which there's 60. Then you got your console games. It doesn't tell you which ones they are until you play it. Um, but you go through here. Go through all your games. And if you have a Legends Ultimate, it's the same thing, except larger. But this is what it comes with. Which is super whoop-de-doo. Um, but it comes with an SD card, so you can add your own games. Um, so I was going to do that anyway, just because I like these little systems now. But um, with what the beautiful people at Atari Age did, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to plug this in, and I'm going to show you what we got from that. Okay, now the SD card is in. Here's the difference. Eventually. Uh, I could have waited. Um, yeah. Apparently, it does work. No music. But, again, do you see the difference there? Feature games. All games. Arcade games, which you have your choice of arcade classics or Linux or, well, it's your favorites. Um, different consoles. Now, this has it set up differently. You get 2600. Homebrews, uh, 5200, 7800, computers, ColecoVision, um, settings, change everything here. So go through all your games. 
let's go through the arcade classics, shall we? And uh, this, the, the controller, has, it's more or less a Sega Genesis controller. Uh, it has ABC and XYZ and a start. Uh, let's show you the arcade games here. I'm really enjoying the 10 seconds of silence between everything. All right. Now, here's what you get. Go for all games. There we go. Um, your home folder. But uh, these guys, again, same same guys who did my Atari flashback, if you watch that video. Um, just pure geniuses. But, again, they took it down because people were whiny and just jerks about the whole thing. So, here's what we got. Tons of A's. Some of my favorite games. We'll just keep going through here. Automatically. How many more of these are there? Went from a total of seven pages of ten games for everything that was on here to... Oh, how many are there here? Holy crap. <laughs> See, I didn't even know how many were again. Okay, there we go. Back to the start again. Oh, it's it's not entirely in order. There we go. We got 36 pages. There are 360 arcade games. Now, if I go... There's your arcade games. Oh, sorry. It's 360 games then. Or No, I screwed it up. Anyways, well, let's just go back here. Okay, so it's 60 arcade games. So I'm a moron. Probably could have told that. Anyways, go back to... I'm just going to go back to... It was all arcade games. I didn't go home. Because I was confused. If, you, if you've seen me, you'd understand why I was confused. Check out the uh, the videos I do where I'm running around Vancouver. You'll see what a dork I am. For this, I'm not going to show you. All right. Go back to... So anyways, we got Arcade Classics. I kind of went through that and I screwed that up. But anyways, get Atari 2600. Of which, everything should be on the last system I showed you. If you watch that. So there you go. We got, uh... Oh, and you got great music for it, too. I love that music. All games. So if I just went backwards instead of going forwards. Basically, 46 pages. So 460... Atari 2600 games. And you can go, whoops, go home. Takes way longer to boot than I thought it did. Okay, and it always goes back to the featured games for some reason. So then you got your home brews. Definitely doesn't have as many games as the Atari Flashback system does, but that's fine. That's not why I hooked it up. And again, back to featured games. So, here's all your homebrews. And I'll go back to this. So, 44 more pages. So, there were like 900 Atari 2600 games. That's insane. Go back to the home.
5200. Why bother going through all of them? Uh, Atari Home Computers, Lynx, whatever the Wonder Swan is. I don't even know what that is. I've never seen a Wonder Swan in my life. Ark the Lad. Jeez. I don't, I don't even know what this thing is. And there's basically 200 games of it. And cool music. Alright. What else do we got here? ColecoVision. I love the ColecoVision. Um, again, this is something that I'm probably not going to use much of myself because if you, again, watch it, if, if you watched any of my other videos, I got it a, a Coleco flashback and put every game you could possibly play on it. Um, but I didn't mod it so much as I put a pie in it, if you want to be technical. Um, but your Coleco games, you got, uh, 30, 31... 32 pages, so more or less at least you have all of the, I don't know where that is, you have all of the original ColecoVision games. And, well, again... Karaoke. I'm not even going to show you the karaoke. I don't even know what that is. Linux games. L Lutro. Magnavox Odyssey. Mattel. Uh, Media Center. I do believe that's uh, like a Cody if you had a Raspberry Pi. Uh, Turbo Graphics. Nintendo. Game & Watch. Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color. Pokemon Mini. If you want to play Pokemon games. Super Nintendo. Virtual Boy. Pico 8. Game Gear. Genesis. Mega System. SG-1000, Sinclair, SNK, Neo Geo, Sony PlayStation. Now, I don't know what these, Tick 80, whatever. I wonder if this even, a lot of these the guy was still working on before he took it down. So some of them might not have many games in them at all. I don't think I've even looked at the Sony PlayStation. See right here, it doesn't look like it's even got anything in it. Nope. So this is something they just put on here. So you can actually, if you're smarter than me, and, and most people are, um, most monkeys are, you could actually add PlayStation games to it. You can add any system you want to it. Um, I just kind of went with what they did. And, and it's pretty cool. And um, saves you a lot of time of programming it yourself. So that's the legends flashback mod um so many systems uh what i really would like to is if i could plug it into my ultimate legends ultimate but uh, it, it does plug into it but y you have to play the games with this through the system so it's more or less just like plugging it into the tv so it doesn't help but uh anyways that's the legends ultimate I uh, have a ton of little mini systems. I'm uh, planning on doing a video of everything I've done. I am not somebody who can show you how to do it. <laughs> I, I Basically, this video is a waste of your time if you want to learn how to do any of this. Um, I just started doing Raspberry Pis myself a, like a year or two ago. I, I'm not a genius. I'm not a, an expert. Um, but I can make simple systems work. And the next one I show you, it's going to be a Raspberry Pi Sega Genesis. Um, but this thing, for what I was learning, like I wanted to do the Atari, and I found this great stuff online. Um, the same guys, the geniuses that did that, are probably doing something right now for something else. Um, they did that. They did this. Um, from doing these projects, I learned how to do the Coleco. It took me forever. 
but um, I'm going to do an Intellivision. I have a Sega, I have a Nintendo, I have a Super Nintendo. I did a mod from an online thing I learned for a PlayStation. So I'm going to do videos of all of those. So if you choose to watch, please do. Uh, subscribe, comment, um, like, whatever it is people do. If you uh, have nothing else to do, if you're bored as hell, check out my other videos of me running around town making an ass of myself. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.